Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here, back with another debunking the myth played up. Now, today's episode, we're going to be talking about cooking pies, and it's like, well, what? How do you cook a pie faster? Which mixer do you use? Do you use safety hobs or the heated mixer, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So, before you, someone says, "Oh, you should use the sink method," and you should get dough, that has nothing to do with that. It's not with this. It's not what this myth debunking is about. It's about even more so tutorial as well, but which mixer is faster? The way I have it set up is I have all the cooking devices in one line. So everything will be cooking like on the same spot here and these prep stations are all lined up. Because it's interesting to see once, once we get going that some of these will surprise you for the first couple. But once you start getting down to like having five, well, well four plus one, four plus one to having 10, uh, what the clear winner is. <clears throat> now the way I have it set up over here is have it set up automated to where it's the least amount of grabbers, etc. So you basically have flour to grabber to your mixer. Then you have your meat to grabber to combiner. And that's set up for all of these the way it needs to be set up. So they each get everything at the same exact time. Now the only difference, a couple of differences. One is this heated mixer obviously should be turned <laughs> to match the other ones. The heated mixer doesn't have a hob because it is its own hob. The only other one that's different up here is the conveyor mixer because the conveyor mixer doesn't need an extra grabber in the middle which is interesting to see coming up here because basically what it means is it can only prep one pie while this one's cooking is that going to be a problem we'll see and then the rapid mixer and the regular mixer these both are set up exactly the same because they have exactly the same inputs and output requirements now without further ado i'm going to let this run and we can talk about it as it's going and you'll see what I mean by it being close and then kind of not close and then close again. <laughs> or I may just be blowing smoke today. Let's go into practice and watch. As you see, they all start out pretty quickly. And you see, just wait here. The wrap mixture is on the hob first. Boom, the conveyor mixture is right next to it, right next. And then it's the regular mixer top. The conveyor mixture, or excuse me, heated mixture, the bottom is still way behind. Okay, so the first three are done. So right there, the first one was done was rapid, followed by conveyor, by regular. Let's keep an eye on it. Again, it's rapid, conveyor, is it? Conveyor, and then regular. Very quickly, if mine adds you. Now, of course, the rapid's gonna be first, but watch between the conveyor and the regular. They're done exactly the same time. Now, let's keep watching. We know that the, the uh, Rapid mixer is going to be first. That's a no-brainer. But look at the other ones. The regular mixer at the top is actually catching up. And the reason why is because down here, just watch the conveyor mixer. This actually finishes processing before the conveyor mixer does. Look. So there's that, that split second that's losing the time. Because look at it now. This one's finished. Conveyor mixer hasn't even gotten close. Finished, finished. Rapid mixer is pulling ahead, of course. Um, not by much compared to the regular mixer. I mean, to be honest with you, it's maybe a second difference. The conveyor mixer is another second or two behind that. Rapid mixer is finished. Regular mixer is finished. Conveyor mixer, now is finished. And then, of course, the lonely heated mixer down here is not even halfway because there's 10 pies laying here, 11 if you count that. This one barely has five done when the other ones have 11 done. So, what does that prove? that the heated mixer is the slowest way possible to make pies. <laughs> it's the slowest way. Now, is it still viable? I don't know. I did a run with using only heated mixers and you can find that on YouTube, mind you, <laughs> if you want to check out and see how well I did with that, just using heated mixers, at least in the beginning to cook the pies. So what did we learn here? Well, we learned here early on, like right off the bat, conveyor mixers are second, uh, rapid mixers are always, are always first. The conveyor mixer is slightly second, and then the regular mixer, which is over here, is, is next. But for longevity purposes, if you're making pies and serving and serving and serving and serving, my bet, obviously, is the rapid mixer. If I don't have a rapid mixer, I would go with the regular mixer. And the reason, again, why I said this is because of the fact that, yeah, let's get out of this, that you have a pie made here. So you have one, two, while one's cooking, essentially. So there's always going to be a backup here. And because the, and you say, well, how does that make sense? Because the conveyor mixer is the same as regular mixer as far as speed, it is. But the thing is, though, is the way this works is as soon as this is done, this grabber is pulling in and holding and waiting. 
down here the conveyor mixer when this one's finished this has to clear the area before the next one can come in so it's, it's that that amount of time that goes between these two that this one can't start making another pie now you may say well just put a put a, a grabber in between these yeah that would work and that would that would likely bring things back to uh, the same speed but again we're using these things as they're intended a conveyor mixer is is intended to replace a grabber essentially in between these two so if you're going to have a conveyor mixer and then going into a grabber which is basically what these two are doing then why upgrade to a conveyor mixer <laughs> to be honest with you right because you're actually going to be spending more money to having a conveyor mixer and then a grabber which defeats the purpose you'll be spending an extra 60 coins for that conveyor mixer compared to one of these two which would do the job just fine and the thing is now is is that mixers rotate they're in a, they're in a cycle a cylindrical is that the way you want to call it a cylindrical progression uh i think it goes um heated conveyor rapid don't quote me on that but they cycle so the way there is you get a you get a regular mixer blueprint up here right you stick it in your cabinet and see what you get if you get a conveyor mixer and you want to go with that then go with that if you get it if you get a rapid mixer go with that if you get a heated, heated mixer i would shy away from that i would research the next day and upgrade to one of these other two types depending on which one you get now for my money based on the amount of resources that is needed i'd always go rapid mixer because it's significantly faster uh, the next would be the regular mixer and the conveyor mixer they're both not that far apart honestly uh, during a normal run, you wouldn't notice it. So if you have your chance to get yourself a conveyor mixer, you'll save yourself a slot here, a uh, spot to make it more compact. And then the last, but not least, but it should be, is the heated mixer. Now they have gotten their buff from a 0.2 to 0.4 speed of cooking. I would like it to see it buffed to maybe 0.75 speed, uh, which would put it on par with a safety hob. Because if this is at 0.75 speed, now it's not the same as the other ones, but it cooks the same as this. It'll mix the same. It'll mix the same speed as a conveyor or regular mixer, but it will also cook the same as the safety hop. So that may really change people's minds. I know they were given a buff, and I think that's mainly due to the sides. You have like chips, and you have uh, pumpkin seeds. Well, pumpkin seeds, not so much because you don't use the mixing. You wouldn't use you wouldn't use that for for chopping pumpkins because you have to have a portion or etc etc it doesn't matter but point being is that for things like onion rings and fries especially for fries or for chips as they call them this would be great because you'd have your potatoes grabber heated mixer so it would mix do the mixing mixing action and it would also cook the fries quite quickly so imagine if this would be a safety hop speed 0.75 speed with the mixing action that would be it would really 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 good but again since the mixers are now in a cycle on how they are researched. You can research, keep researching the same one until you get what you want. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was a fun one to make. It wasn't so much a myth, but it was more so a test to see which method, which mixer is faster when making pies. Now, again, you may say, well, you know, you should use the dough wall method and then a mixer. Do you, you want to know something? If you're using a safety hob, one safety hob, doing that means nothing it does not change one single bit of speed because ultimately as you've witnessed the the um, speed at which you can crank out pies is dedicated is 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 because of this right here the safety hob and now you could use a regular hob of course could you use a regular hob with a smart grabber that pulls burned ones or cooked ones or burned excuse me charred ones off into a jiggly bin of course is that practical no is it really that much faster? No, it's not. Because what you can do is if you have, because this mixture will mix a pie faster than this will cook it, of course. So you could have two setups here with the corner grabbers. Now put a corner grabber right here. So it goes from the mixer to your smart grabber. Uh, smart grabbers are recommended because of the way that as soon as the mixing action is, the first one's done, this will pull right away. It won't wait until the meat's on to make it the second one. So using smart grabbers is kind of the way to go here, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's not about this video. So thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying these kind of debunking the myth videos, please leave a comment below about one you'd like me to try or one that, something that you've heard of. Hey, I've heard you can do this. Is it possible? Is it feasible? 
uh, is it worth doing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'd love to test it out for you. I want to get all your guys' ideas about debunking myths or things that you don't know about. Can you automate this? I should do it. Can you automate this series? <laughs> Nothing to do with this series, of course. But thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video as well as my other played up content, please consider leaving me a subscribe. It would be really helpful to the channel. If you enjoyed this video specifically, please consider leaving a like as well as a comment. I enjoy reading all the comments I get from all my supporters and all my fans. And every comment that I get, I will react to it either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment right back to you. I'm trying to respond to everybody, uh, but sometimes uh, time gets away from me, but I try my best. So thank you guys very much once again, and stay tuned for another Debunking the Myths played up video. Take care now.